Hello and welcome to the LexisNexis regulatory compliance video. Today we're going to be talking about the regulatory compliance solution and how we at LexisNexis can help you identify better ways to manage compliance within your organization. My name is Michael Nelson. I'm the Senior Product Specialist for LexisNexis. Let's press on. One of the issues that we see confronting people who work in compliance across the country is the flood of information regarding changes to legislation and regulation that's coming out of the nation's parliaments. This is a snapshot taken from the legislative change that was mapped across the country in 2021. Taken in total, it's approximately 5,200 individual legislative and regulatory changes across all of the jurisdictions in Australia. The previous year in 2020, it was around 4,800, and the previous year in 2019, it was around 5,600. Taken in total, you'll see that there's something in the order of 16,000 legislative and regulatory changes that have occurred over the course of the past three years, not including the changes that flowed in relation to COVID health orders. The need to identify not just what these changes are, both in terms of legislation that organisations are tracking and potentially new legislation that they're not, then to identify the effect of these changes on your individual organisation, and then being able to disseminate the effect of those changes across the organisation in a meaningful way can increasingly become almost impossible without some sort of automated solution in play. Traditionally, however, resources allocated to compliance within particular organisations have meant that what compliance teams are faced with is a DIY solution, relying on information that comes from peak bodies, whether it's by way of emails or events, relying on information that's provided by law firms, either in terms of free email subscriptions or external panel firms, relying on professional associations, industry webinars, internal reviews, of legislative change and regulatory change, all of which can often be folded into a Excel spreadsheet driven by particular compliance sources that can in certain instances stretch to hundreds or indeed thousands of individual entries that even once you've mapped your compliance obligations to those legislative and regulatory requirements soon fall out of scope as because we've seen before due to the huge amount of legislative and regulatory change. Legislative drift means that almost as soon as you've completed your Excel registers, they will be out of date. So the question is, how do you achieve compliance in the face of these almost insurmountable problems? Well, thankfully, LexisNexis has a solution. We've created a series of modules that contain obligations in relation to particular areas of activity. We have content both in Australia and New Zealand, and increasingly an international footprint of content that covers off another six jurisdictions at the moment, and we're expanding every week. The modules are broken up into what we call core modules that cover off the kind of obligations that arise for any sort of corporate entity in the country, anti-bribery and corruption, tax, work health and safety, employment, and so on. Those are supplemented with a series of what we call industry modules, that talk to the kinds of obligations that arise when that corporate entity goes off and engages in a particular activity, whether that's in the financial services sector or an Australian financial services licensee or an Australian credit licensee, or whether that's a federal government department, a state government department, local government, Commonwealth tertiary institutions, facilities managers, and so on. Supporting the obligations in the registers is an alerting solution that allows people who work in compliance to identify not just when change takes effect through the FYI alerts and the action required alerts that we send, but allows you to tie the effect of those changes back to the obligations in your registers and identify what the required response to those changes will be within the organization. The content in the registers is regularly updated, rewritten and republished to reflect legislative and regulatory change. So on a monthly cadence, the registers will reflect what your obligations are today. This is supported through a variety of different teams. Our 
team in the press gallery in Canberra provide us with information in relation to what's happening across the nation's parliaments. And that team is supported by a number of other teams, both locally and internationally, that make sure that we're across the changes that are taking place that will affect you as an organisation. The content is written by lawyers. Our content team are all legally trained. The technical writers that we employ to populate the registers are all legally trained. And of course, the content is signed off by the variety of legal experts that we work with both within regulatory compliance and in our legal research field. The content is available in a variety of different ways. We can, of course, provide it to you in an Excel spreadsheet format, albeit one that's slightly more alive than traditional Excel formats. We can provide it to you online through um, an online portal. And the content is all available through a variety of different software partners that we work with, such that you can incorporate our content, both the obligation registers and the alerts through a pull API and use that information to augment and supplement the content that you already have, both in terms of existing obligations and also your controls, your policies, your procedures, and so on. To give you a sense of the kind of benefit that organizations are getting, here's a quote from the team at Aussie Broadband, who, in addition to our core content, have access to the telecommunications module that we provide. As you can see, one of the great benefits that LexisNexis provides is not just accuracy of content, but also allows people to use their time productively by not parsing through legislation, by not referring to 100 different information streams, be it emails, be it webinars, be it sessions internally and so on, but use their time effectively to promulgate a culture of compliance across the organization. Here are some links that we think might, you might find useful. And if you have any questions, of course, in relation to this content or potentially other content that you might be interested in, feel free to contact me. My name is Michael Nelson. I'm the Senior Product Specialist. Thank you very much for your time. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.